well, since I've started the procrastination train, I might as well roll with it. Um, what I'm feeling right now is a little paralyzed. Um, I'm working on something where I'm, I'm stuck, and either because of nutrition or because of medication or the lack of medication, I'm thinking, I just can't really think of different directions to go. Um, it's like I can't make a decision right now. And this is the, the second day this week where I felt a little slower. Monday I felt reasonably productive. Yesterday I tried to push through even though I wasn't quite able to focus for the day. And today it seems like it's worse. Um, this is obviously very comfortable because I take a lot of pride in my work ethic. And so what am I going to do? Well, I'm already going to, I plan to go to the gym. I've been going at, at noon. Um, and that tends to be helpful in the sense that I just get to expend a lot of energy. I do circuit training and a mix of cardio and, and lifting. So, um, that, that tends to help, you know, if it's a good day, expending that energy doesn't hurt. And if it's a bad day, expending that energy means that I can't necessarily work very well, but at least I've done something, you know. So hopefully that'll help. Um, and of course, without the medication today, I have these million different thoughts and being in front of a camera, especially um, speaking unscripted, it's just, it's hard to uh, think of what to say. All right, so what am I going to do? All right, so what helps with me in these situations is to just try to come up with a plan, something that I can execute um, kind of in a very straightforward way, something that's not so extreme. So obviously I want to be able to figure out if the thing I'm stuck on is an actual problem or if it's just like a programming error. So I'll have to think about that more carefully. And assuming that it is legitimate, like a, an actual problem. Um, yeah, it, it's hard to describe it. If I, if I have more time, I'd, I'd love to go into more detail about this, this particular issue. But um, yeah, if I think it is, if I'm, if I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, and if, if it's actually what's happening, then I'll, I guess I'll just have to move on and do something else. So it took a good hour or so to just even realize that I could just kind of move on and do something else. Um, and I've only kind of realized it now as I'm talking in front of the camera. Um, and I guess this talking is, itself is also a coping strategy or mechanism because it tends to help if I'm in front of a camera to, or if I'm in front of someone, if I feel like I'm talking to someone, it tends to help with decision making. <sighs> okay. So that's a bit of a, a cause of some anxiety. And then, okay, so if it is a problem, um, then I'll just have to move on. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. Yeah, so, okay, so what I'm trying to do is try to simplify this problem in, a, in, in my, my research work. And it turned out that if I simplify in one, one direction, things become like too simple. It doesn't do anything interesting. Um, but I can simplify in a slightly different way where it is, it is not so simple that nothing happens. Um, and of course I have other directions I could, other research projects I could continue working on. Um, so if today for after about an hour or so I don't make any progress, then I'll just move on to other things for the day. Um, and if it turns out that working on other things doesn't help that is if it turns out that my brain is the one that's not working then i'll just have to just kind of take it easy for the day i don't really have a choice right so we'll see what happens but um yeah hopefully this this helps to see me in this kind of state where i'm in the middle of work and feeling pretty anxious um and and by the way this is the kind of state that for for me personally this is why i chose this partially why I chose this math direction in math. Um, one is because it's interesting that that's kind of a prerequisite uh, that helps a lot. But the other is that I wanted to confront this 
inability to make decisions, to inability to break down problems into something simpler. Um, you know, ten over ten years later, I still have trouble with it, um, especially without medication. But I'm better at it. Um, yeah. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.